Oh, the lag is so real. Still don't understand why... The, oh, come on. Just grab the darn... Stop loosening things and just grab the fuel line. Oh, God. I'm glad I decided to look in here. That's... Where'd it go? Take a quick drink of that. All right, good to go here. This stupid thing up. Oh, no, just disappear. That's fine. Because I... Oh, oh, God. No, no, no. No, get on her. Oh, no. I bought lowering springs. Crap. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Twisted Rides Gaming YouTube channel. And on today's episode of My Garage, we're building something really cool here today. Um, you guys probably remember this car from a previous episode. I bought it uh, from the used car lot over there, and I said I was going to do something cool with that. I was going to build an ambulance for a special purpose. Well, if you guys seen some of the episode, I kind of messed up a little bit and went off the road. So I really dinged this thing up. It got into the floorboard, the the rocker panel. So this thing would need to undergo some serious surgery for me to do what I want. So I just bought a whole other car instead. So basically... The engine's shot in this. The engine's great in that one. I think I'm just going to switch over some body parts. Actually, no, I'm not switching over any body parts. But I am going to switch the engine over, clean this thing up a little bit, throw a paint job on it, and put some nice stickers on it. But there's actually something else really cool we get to check out in today's video. We get to check this out. So this here is a sandblaster that gets rid of rust. Lots of rust. So... We don't have to use the grinder anymore ever again. So you can get this from the store uh, right over there. And you have to buy these little bags here of sand, which don't look like... I mean, we need a label or something on these guys. Like, they don't look like bags of sand, just saying. <laughs> so, basically, works like so. Oh, the lag is so real. Oh, that's awesome. I've never had a switch on lag before. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have to admit, it puts a really nice finish on the car. Wow, okay, that lags way too much for me to do the whole car for you guys. But you guys kind of get the gist here. This thing is a really cool tool, and it's going to save a lot of time. Maybe, depending on uh, how well the lag holds up here. Uh, let's see here. Is there any more rust on this thing? This thing is actually pretty clean. The only thing that's not very clean is the engine. Ah, so, oh, wait, a little rust spot right there. There we go. I do believe... Nope. Another another rust spot. Man, this car is so rusty. Okay, I do believe that's all of it here. Let me check the car here. Uh, wow, I spent way too much money on this thing. Rust. It's still got more rust. Where? Where's the more rust on this thing? I literally blasted it all away. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Uh, I don't see any rust uh, there, guy. Like, where's... Where's the rust? It's, it's like those old, uh, like, Hostess commercials. Where's the cream filling? Where's the rust? Or no, sorry. Uh, am I thinking Wendy's? Where's the beef? Yeah, where's the rust? Wait, really? I ran out of sand. That's, the, that's what that silence means. I ran out of sand. So you just go, boink. Bam, got sand again. Go pick up the nozzle. Ready to rock and roll again. Okay, got that little bit of rust. You know what? It's probably on the door. <clears throat> you know, this, not that door, this door. Okay. Well, I really don't care to do this to the whole car. It doesn't really... The whole car doesn't need this kind of attention, you know? Hey, can I do it to the engine? Oh, I'd be cool if you could, like, restore engine parts with this thing. That'd be really neat. Can't tell what's going on with the headlight bulbs. So, is there anything going on underneath? Oh, bad shock. Bad shock. Bad lower control arm. You know what? Things we're not going to worry about at all. Because 
I just need this thing to sit there and look pretty. That's all it needs to do. If you stay on the gas tank, will it explode? Okay, so how about we not try that again? Anyway. So, did I get all the rest off of this thing? No. Wait, well, come on. You know what? Like I said, all this thing has to do is sit there and look pretty. Oh, there's the rust. It's on the tailgate. I would honestly just switch it for this one if it wasn't, yeah, you know, like an elephant sat on it. Okay, how about now? We got four stars. <laughs> uh, come on, game. I don't have this in me today. Okay, um, nothing, nothing. Okay, so crap engine is coming out. We're just going to move ahead to, oh yeah, can't forget to add the lost wrench counter, which I shouldn't because there's a pile of them here. Unless that's just an exclusive for the uh, the other game. Oop, I have a good transmission in here, so that might be staying. Of course, the I don't have a lift here, you know, where I'm working. It'd suck if every time you knocked over that sand thing, it knocks sand out of it. Oop, the ground strap, alternator, ah, fuel line. Don't, can't forget the fuel line. That's the one that gets me every time. Where's the fuel? Ah, there's the fuel line. Still don't, still don't understand why. The, oh, come on! Just grab the darn. Stop loosening things and just grab the fuel line. Come on. There. Quit being a weirdo. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, take this guy off. Oh, the starter's bad. That's okay. It goes with the engine anyway. Yank that thing off. How about? Uh, there we go. Ah, the rest of the bolts. Can't imagine, like, actually doing this on the ground in real life. I mean, I have, but, you know. Okay, how about the engine? Will it come out now? Um, can I, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, I am starting something new on my Discord channel, and for those of you who did not know, I do have my own Discord now. So feel free to come check that out. And uh, on there, there's a channel, and if any of you that watch uh, My Garage or like My Garage, feel free to drop in. And I have two options there for you. One is a limited, uh, basically a limited thing, like I'm only going to do a couple. And the other is I'll basically welcome any job. So the first thing is, if any of you have a problem with a car, or just feel like testing me, or or just too lazy to fix a car you really like on your own, send a, a barn file, like a barn data file to me. I'll take the car in, I'll film myself fixing it, and then I'll send it back to you so you can enjoy it. And the other thing is, is I'm only picking, let's say, about five or so cars. If you guys want me to do a custom build, and be specific, you know, like, hit me up in the channel, and then you can send me a DM after we make contact, and I'll build a custom one-off car for you, as long as we have the same mods. You have to have the same mod as me in order for that process to work. Okay, we have the engine out of here, so if that is something that interests you guys, go check out my Discord. There will be a uh, link down in the description below to that, so you guys can check that out. Hey, this transmission was bad anyway, so it all works out. So, yeah, it's a service I'm offering to you guys. Oh, and the exhaust is bad. I guess I'm going to have to switch that. Oh, crap. I guess I'm going to need a whole new turbo exhaust. Come on. Don't get me stuck in there. Um, alternator, which is covered by the turbo. There we go. Ground strap. Oh, I already got that. already got that. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing some part swapping between these two. Man, this starter is bad, too. Oh, no. There we go. Man, I thought they made it to where you couldn't loosen crap in the engine. Okay, so is this exhaust? This exhaust is good. How about... Oh, that exhaust was good too. Okay, so like I said, I do need to switch over some parts between the two. That doesn't look healthy, so we might be switching that over, whatever that is. Ah, there's something missing right here. Oh, it's the airbox. The airbox is there on the other one. Okay, so we have that. And then... My, what am I missing here? 
Why will you not come out? I loosened the starter wire, didn't I? Ah, there we go. Now it should come out. Yes? Uh, if I'm being real with you guys, I, uh, one of the many times I, uh, put an engine in my third gen Camaro that I have, I, uh, <laughs> I tried to take the engine out, and for the life of me, I couldn't get the darn thing to come out. And I'm like, what is wrong with this goofy thing? Why won't the engine come out? Oh, it was the same bolt as the other one. So I couldn't, uh, get the engine to come out. I have it on the engine, ho on the engine hoist. I'm like, what's wrong with it? Why won't it work? Why won't it work? Well, come to find out, I, uh, missed a, uh, bell housing bolt, and I completely broke it off. So now I'm missing a bolt that holds my engine and my transmission, and because of that, oh boy. Crap, come on. What do I, okay, you come off, what else am I missing to get rid of this thing? So, yeah, note to self, try to make sure you have all your, uh, stuff taken out before trying to rip out the engine because that uh that kind of that one sent me back a little bit i'm still trying to in other words what i'm saying is i, I never fix that you can't fix them I mean, you can try to weld it but i don't have that skill set or those tools to do that unfortunately okay gone with you hmm, okay um let's see get that thing out of there Wait, okay, this is my good engine. Where's my good part? Ah, here it is. So stick this puppy on. Okay, stick the belt back on. You know, I thought this episode was going to be quick, and yet I always keep surprising myself. Um, might as well go ahead and replace this exhaust downpipe while I'm at it. So it is the exhaust header turbo. So let me go into the magazine and get that. How is everyone doing? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. Hope everyone's doing okay this... Man, I can't believe it's fall already. Really can't believe it's fall. Let's see here. It's a... Let's see. I thought it was a wolf. Isn't it a wolf? I know it's a wolf. Yeah, there's the wolf. The engine, diesel, engine, exhaust header, turbo. Wait. Ah, bingo. Bam, right there. Perfect. See so have different air filters, camshaft, cylinder head, blocks. See, I want to build like a, uh, a race engine with one of these. I think. I think that'd be really cool. Ah, now we're getting into the modded stuff. Forged piston. Ah, piston HP. Camshaft HP. This stuff here is actually... Uh, I think this stuff is not mods. I think the piston HP is not a mod. Yeah, anything that says HP on it is not a mod. Everything after that is... What are these? Okay, so we can apparently paint this. Oh, what? Oh, cool. You can take the little cap off while it off the engine. Nice. Alright, let's put this guy back on here. Get on her. There we go. Let's just flip the engine over. I wish it was that easy to flip an engine, especially when my dad drop mine and killed my weed whacker oh god I'm glad I decided to look in here that's oh no that's really bad ah oh, I drove this car oh no well crap what's the inside of this engine look like uh it's equally as bad why are they all bad Wait, you know what? I think I know what it is. I think it's doing that thing where the game screws up and all the camshafts look like crap. Crap. Oh, come on. Just, just let me look in there, please. So, anyway. Yeah, my end caps looked like that. And, uh... What had happened was... No, that camshaft's good. Alright, well, is the camshaft good in this one? Okay, so this one's fine. It just needs a new crankshaft. So I guess we'll throw a crankshaft in here. I was not expecting to do the, all this today. I just wanted to build my ambulance, but no, the whole ambulance part's gonna have to wait till later. Um. Okay. Bam. All right. Never have to go far for a wrench in this save. Which, if you're wondering why it's laggy, I went back to my old save. Like, not my original save, but, like, an older one. Because uh, I knew that's where the station wagons were. Oh, I forgot the crank uh, pulley as well. 
I don't get give it. But anyway, what I was getting at was is uh. Darn it! I totally forgot what I was talking about. I hate it when I do that. Whoops. You know, if my ADD wasn't so damn bad, I didn't get so like ooh shiny. You know, I would uh, be able to complete more sentences and uh, get out there what I was trying to get out there. Which I'm sure some of you are curious to know what I was trying to say or what I was even talking about. Oh. <sighs> Oh, God, I shouldn't be tired. It's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What is up with this? Oh, can, why can I not pick anything up? Okay, there we go. This is a little bit better. I just went ahead and went fresh with everything, just so I don't... Just don't want to risk it, if you know what I mean. Okay, take that, shove it on there. Cool. It'd be neat if you actually needed the tool to install that. Like, you can only install it if you have the tool. That would suck. I mean, it'd be cool. It'd just be one more thing for me to lose in this game. Okay, I got that. Now I need all my pistons. That didn't totally not go in there. That didn't go in there either. For the love of God, just go in the engine. Why are we having an issue here? It's not being all goofy because I have the cylinder head on, does it? Which is funny, I've always wondered if you could actually pull pistons out of an engine, like from the bottom. Like if you pull the crankshaft out. I'm sure there's some that you can, like maybe an inline motor. But, uh... When I put my uh oh excuse me, when I put my eyeball tape measure on uh, on some stuff, I can, I'm like, yeah, there's no way possible that that's actually going to uh, work the way my imagination thinks it will. So therefore, it doesn't. Am I? I am missing a piston. Nope, nope. There it is. Be cool if they had like different viscosity oils in this game too. But again, it'd just be more crap to keep track of. Whew, okay. I believe that was all the pistons. Here, let me double check just to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got to make me a cup of coffee, even though it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Problem is, I am out of coffee, and the only coffee we have left in the house is my wife's coffee. But you know what? I'm pretty sure she won't mind if I just don't tell her I borrowed a, a cup. So, I'll be right back. Uh, I can't see anything. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Holy cow. That thing went far. Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay, you stay. Don't go anywhere. Just gonna go over here, that goes there, and I'm going to get some coffee. Okay, so I finally got me some coffee. And I'm just gonna set that down, because that's gonna take about 10 million years to cool off. So, let's see here. Uh, I was doing engine stuff. Oh, I just put it in the car, that's right. Uh, coolio. Uh, let's see. Oh no, the water pump's bad. I totally forgot about that part. Uh, how do I take that off? And is it good on the other one? What did I just unbolt? Crap. Oh no, did I just... Oh no, is that a bad head gasket? I can't... I mean... I can't tell if it's bad or not. Does this one look the same way? Yeah, but... I can't tell if that's the way it's supposed to look. Or not. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna run it. <laughs> you know, it's good. Um... Again, I, I, I keep having to remind myself. It doesn't have to, to work great. It just has to, to look pretty. You know, it just needs to get me to the hospital once. Um, darn it. I don't want to have to fix that, but I might have to. 
Um, I need to finish bolting the engine in here. Hopefully I don't run it like that one charger. If you guys don't know what video I'm talking about, uh, I'll put a link up in the corner, but I called it Three Wheel Trouble. Um, and I basically drove a uh, charger all the way out to the upholstery shop and back whenever driving was kind of a big deal in this game. And it took me like two episodes to do it. And by the time I... Can I lean? Oh, I'm already leaned. Um, well, on my way just to the upholstery shop, I wound up breaking off one of my wheels. And I had to literally drive the car back on, on three wheels. And I actually drove it the entire way back. Can I get up, please? What the hell? Get up. Thank you. Okay. Open the hood. There we go. Did I for? I guess I totally forgot I was doing the water pump in this thing already. Guys, I don't know what's wrong. I guess the coffee just isn't quite kicking in yet is the thing. Is that not like... There we go. Okay, I guess I just didn't click it good enough. Uh, let's see here. Fuel line. Fuel line. Oh, that's right. Do I have to aim in like the middle of the car? Yep. There we go. All right. Tighten you on there. Bingo. Okay, good. No big lag spike that time. Really ought to... Oh. Cool. Oh boy. Oh, oh wow. Okay. All right. Uh, come on. Wait, can I just, is that one good? Hey, this one is good. So cool. I'll just take this one right off. I think the timing cover's bad on that one. I can't tell. All right. I need to make sure my dog's not messing with the rabbit again. And yeah, what a combination, a pet dog and a pet rabbit. Was not my idea, but that's kind of how it wound up. Okay, I know I'm hearing stuff, but the dog's on the couch and the rabbit's laying down, so... Yeah. And for those of you who are wondering, no, the rabbit doesn't run around the house. The rabbit's uh, in his own little kennel, and uh, the dog does run around free, but she, for the most part, behaves. I'm looking for something. Oh, the radiator, I guess. Ah, take a quick... Take a quick drink of that. All right, good to go here. All right, definitely going to need all fluids for this since I had the oil pan off. Aha, and the radiator out. Actually, I think... Wait, is that it? Like, did I actually... Okay, it's just, I guess that's going a little quicker and easier than I thought. Alright, grab my batteries. Now, what should I do with this car? I, I mean, obviously it needs some serious body work, but what should I do with it? Should I fix it up, or should I scrap it, turn it into a demolition derby car? I know someone really wants me to do a, an Impala demolition derby car, which, believe me, it's on the horizon. It'll get done. Uh, but, um... There's other things I want to do with the Impala first, which there will be death and destruction. Yes, I said death and destruction um, with that car before we get fully underway with it. So it's going to be fun. You guys will enjoy it. I'm definitely going to enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun for me. Oh, I need to put the exhaust back on. Lots of mufflers and resonators and... No, come on, lean. Lean back down. There we go. Oh, no, I feel another sneeze coming on. Oh, come on. I can't focus when I have to do that. Please just let it go already. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the ground strap. There we go. That would have caused some issues. Did I do the alternator? Nope, I didn't do the alternator either. All right. So, I think I think that's all this thing needs, like, on like mechanical-wise. Now I just think we need to take care of all the body work. I think this one's out of fuel. Oh, yeah, that's right. I blew up the gas tank. Um, let's see here. So let me switch those out. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no. I don't even know if the other one's going to be all right. Okay. Uh, is there... Oh, wait. Hang on. I saw a move. It's moving. 
What did I? Can I grab you, please? Hello. What in the hell? Wow. Okay, that was really goofy. All right, so that gas tank's all messed up. All right, now I need this gas tank. That's if it's not destroyed. Hey, it's a little dented, but it's not rusty, so it should hold. I'm okay with dented. It's not holy. What is it with this grabbing it by the filler neck crap? Okay, come on. Grab it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, come on, you stupid game. Where's the sweet spot to pick this stupid thing up? Oh, no, just disappear. That's fine. Why does this game do this stuff to me? I did see that right, right? That actually... That happened. I didn't just imagine that. It actually... It went poof. It went back in the car. Alright. Enough games. Have I even lost my wrench this episode? I haven't been... I haven't been paying attention. Have you been paying attention? <laughs> Hopefully I'm keeping track of that while I'm editing, because I haven't been paying attention. Alright, now let's see if this stupid thing will start. Oh god, I have a full interior to rip out of this thing. Oh guys, come on. It's literally the same engine. It's the same thing. I put the fuel line on. It's got a starter. It's got ignition stuffs and things and intakes and... What, what, what am I missing here? Why won't it... Why won't it fire? Is it because it doesn't have any oil in it? Is that why it's upset? Is that, is that what the problem is? Everything's tight and on and... And good, I guess let me try putting some oil in it, see if that makes it happy. I don't know why it doesn't want to start. Okay. Oh well, guys, you know, it's it's the darndest thing. I uh forgot to put the damn crank uh gear on. Okay, did it actually go on? Alright, I'm gonna put some oil in the engine now and we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, let's see here. I need another jug of coolant. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to finish putting the fluids in this thing, and uh, we're going to give her a whirl, and then we're going to go ahead and get this puppy wrapped up. Okay, now we should be ready to rock and roll. Now that I'm done being an idiot, let's see here. There we go. Okay. Much happier this time around. So... See here, I need to switch out all the interior bits because I like the gray interior, and that one is some of the red bits are a bit messed up. Um, let's see here, do I not have any trash bags? I thought thought I had trash bags. Oh, wait, hang on, here we go. Cool. So now I can pick up some of this junk. Okay, uh, bad water pump. Yep, you can go away. Pick it up, thank you. Bad battery, yep, gone. Empty jug, empty jug, empty jug, empty jug. Yep, you're empty, you're empty, you're empty. I think those are good. This, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Uh, black paint, we always keep black paint around here. That's a good core engine, I might hang on to that. That's part of my thing. That can go back on that car. There's no other junk out here. Throw the whole car away. No, never mind, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm just going to put this down right here. All right, so that should help with the frame rate just a twee bit. Now I need to get another. Whoop, uh, I'm spilt my coffee. Get another drink of coffee here. There we go. See, I'm not yawning as much, so the coffee did help. And if I'm talking a little faster, now we know caffeine actually does work. Anyway, uh, let's see, need to strip all the door panels off. Dashboard takes screws. Oh man, I even have to take the center console out. Too far. Get back up. Get back up. There we go. Come on, quit. Quit. Come on, stop it. Stop it. There we go. 
What's nice is I can probably flip flop all the panels from this car back into the other car. Um, you know, just for kicks and grins. Oh, I forgot there's like B pillar trim in here too. I could put that in something else, really riding style. Uh, let's see here. Don't oh, come on, pick. Got. Come on. Pick it up. There we go. Okay, need to get the console. Is that. Aha! Cool. One bolt, and that's it. Wow, that's out. Don't need a radio where we're going. Back seat. What holds the back seat in here? What did I. Okay, never understood what held the carpet in this goofy thing anyway. Um, the shifter's fine. Steering column is worn out, but I don't care. We don't. You know, again, it just it, it just has to look pretty. I don't need it to, to do anything else. Um, let's see here. Did I? Wait, was that bolt? Okay, got you. Take you out of here. I'll tell you what, man, the storage space in this thing, there's a lot for it being a wagon. Unfortunately, there's a lot less in that one, but I think we know why. Okay, just grab you, take you over here. Alright, now we're starting to make some progress. Buzz, buzz. Alright, get that seat. Come on, where's the... Ah, there's the other bolt. Cool, now we have a nice seat. I almost wish we could get a driver's seat without the armrest on it, you know, so we could do like a nice clean look on a, you know, Restro mod or something. Oh, imagine putting those seats in the, in the Bel Air mod. I need to build that car. I just wanted it to be a little bit more completed before I did anything with it. Because I wanted to do a really special build with it. But, you know, like I said, I just wanted it to look right. Oh, man, this door panel is beat. I hope it actually goes on nice and straight. I don't... I can't even find the bolt. Oh, there it is. Okay, how tweaked is this thing, and is it going to look like crap? Uh, no, it actually looks pretty fine. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Um, where's the bolt, though? And, ah, oh, no, come on, get back up. That's acceptable. I'll take it. Okay, good. Um, let's see, what else do I need? Oh, I do need to paint it, but not too super worried about that. Need to get the dashboard out of there. So I need a screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. There we go. Here's a screwdriver. Then I need to get the B pillars out. All right, out with you. If you guys ever want to know what the absolute very first part is in the body of a vehicle, it's the heater core. Which, if you don't know... All right, by the way, dashboards do not come out with two screws like this in real life. It's a real pain. They, uh... Yeah, they don't come out so easy in, in real life. It's, uh... It's terrible. Like, it... Any job could be, like, anywhere from 3 to, like, 16 hours. And I'm not exaggerating. There are some that literally take days to get the dashboard out. But here's the thing that kind of drives me up a wall. Whenever it comes to, like, a car and taking parts out and putting them in, because a heater core is, like, roughly, depending on the car, it's in here somewhere. And you have to take out every single little nut, bolt, screw to get the dashboard out. But the most hilarious part is, is that in the factory, when the car is being built, the dashboard goes in in the matter of seconds. Literally seconds, and the dashboard is in. And it's like, why can't we do that, like, you know, in real life? Like, why can't it just take seconds to take that damn thing out? But nope. Life cannot be that kind, you know? Nope, pick that back up. All right, uh, let's see here. I would love to build a race, uh, like a race car out of one of these. Problem is, I don't think you can actually run one of these without a dashboard in it because the uh, steering column. Now, if they made like a universal steering column mod, so you can use one out of like a, a chat or something in here, so you have an ignition switch, that would be quite handy. Or, oh no, that's what you do. You uh, take the, uh, start the engine and then rip the dashboard out. That's what you do. Okay, out with this one, because the only indicator that this is bad is that turn signal stock. And I don't know why, it's just going to bother me. Like, I'm doing all this work to kind of make this thing look nice and... Oh, I forgot the headliner's kind of screwed in here. Oh, no. What's it going to be like in the other car? I don't even know if it's going to be, like, reusable. Uh, I guess we should probably check that out. What's it take to get this thing out? I love how we can actually get in the car in this game. Okay, a couple screws there, a couple screws there. I need the screw driver. 
Ah, there it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's see how bad this one is to see if it's even doable to get it out. So wait, the visors can probably stay. Let's take out... Um, is there more to this? or? Oh, no, nope, never mind. Oh, the whole thing does come out. Hell yeah. Can I grab it? Hey, there we go. Okay, so how how bad is it? You know, it's not bad. It's a little folded in the corner, but... Oh, no, that's that's horrible. That's not going to work at all. You know, I'd actually be okay with a, uh, a black one. Uh, yeah, let me check out the magazine and see if I can get a black black sun visor here. Let's see, uh, wolf, sister's body, interior. Here we go. Uh, headliner wagon, yes. Uh, trunk carpet, don't need any of that where we're going. Headliner coupe, cabrio, door panels, carpet. Can I just get some sun visors, please? There we go. Sun visors left and right. All right, so now I have me a new headliner that's not beat up. Okay, bam, now it's in. Now I need to find the mirror wherever it... Oh, I threw it on the ground. I actually broke the mirror in my Caprice the other day. I was trying to fix my steering column, and I had a, a hood light, if you guys know what that is. Can I not... Oh, I hate how that works. Um, a hood light is like a... It's got like a spring-loaded clamp on it. And it, like, clamps on both sides of the hood with LEDs so you can see what you're doing. Pick the... Damn it. Pick up the mirror. Oh, for the love of God. Pick up the damn mirror. Why am I having so much trouble with this? This is not right. There. I don't know why that was so difficult. Anywho. So, whenever I got done doing what I was doing, uh, I went to pull out that hood light because I had it clamped from there to there. I went to pull it out of the car and it grabbed the mirror and ripped it right off my windshield. I was in a great mood. Because not only did I not get my car fixed, I broke something else. <laughs> yep, it's great. Great when stuff like that happens. Okay, uh, sun visors. I actually don't mind, a, like, a black ceiling. Here's something that's actually kind of neat. My mother, she had... Back in the day, she had a 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse. So I guess one screw holds that in. Um, if you guys don't know or remember what kind of car that was, it was basically it was the convertible uh, Spider that uh, Tyrese Gibson had in Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah, one of those. Except hers wasn't a convertible. But her car, it was actually kind of like this. It had black interior, black A-pillar trim, and then a tan ceiling. I don't know, but the contrast always looked neat. It was uh, definitely a good-looking car, very good-running car. I know they, you know, have their own reputation, but the car never disappointed us as a family. She had it for over 100,000 miles in 10 years, and I think the only thing we ever did to it was put a battery in it just for the sake of maintenance. So as long as you take care of a car and you don't run the ever-living crap out of it like I do my cars, they pretty much last forever. And, and that's the God's honest truth. And it doesn't matter what kind of car you drive or, um, you know, what brand it is, what make, or how many miles it has. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some cars just absolutely suck. And what those are, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, this thing kind of looks better with the carpet in it. So I guess we'll just leave it in there. Okay. I wish we had, like, a cover for there since it's supposed to be something kind of like an ambulance. You know what? I think we're just going to call that good. Uh, need to do the B pillars, so I need a pry tool. You know, kind of like, um, yeah. Let me find that real quick. Hang on, did I? Nope. I can find all the wrenches in the world. I just can't find a pry tool. Oh, yep. There's one. Yeah. When in doubt, look on the ground. Okay. Pop you out. Right, throw you on the ground. Pop you out. Throw you on the ground. You know, I keep forgetting that this car's like all beat up. And that some of these parts might not fit quite right. Come on, pit. I already took it off. There we go. Okay, snap you into place. Cool. All right, uh, let's see here. I hope the driver's seat's okay, because that thing went for a whirlwind, too. Okay, Oop, wrong side. Bam. Is this actually okay? Hey, it's actually okay. I guess it... I know that B-pillar got crunched in pretty good on this thing. Or Oh, you know what? It's probably on the bottom. Like, right where it doesn't matter. The driver's seat barely made it. So I guess I need to pull out the seats. And then it's time for a paint job and wheels on this thing. 
Hell yeah, brother. So let me, I can't even get to the, uh, I can't even get to the seat bolts in this thing. There we go. There was a, oh crap, oh god, hang on. All right, no, out you go, because you're just going to be in my way. Um, back when I was a kid, me and my dad, we would just hang out at the junkyard for the heck of it, because it was just, back when the junkyard was fun, and it wasn't more expensive than going to the auto parts store to get stuff, which, in all reality, junkyards just kind of suck nowadays. Everything's way overpriced, even in a junkyard, because they have it and you need it. Anyways, but there was an old Oldsmobile Tornado. If any of you don't know what that is, it's a really, really big two-door car, like the size of a land yacht. That's a full frame, like a full perimeter frame car, this front wheel drive with a big ass V8 in it. I kid you not, that's that's how they're set up. Like, it's it's just a big, classic American car. But this thing was like folded in half. Like, something really big hit it. And uh, not to be gross, but we were kind of looking through the car. And like, let's say here's the frame rail. The body was there. Like, it was shaped like this. Like, it was bad. And we're looking through the car, and we found a pair of blue gloves and a Ford emblem. <laughs> and the reason why I think the Ford emblem is funny is because that's probably what hit it. <laughs> now, unfortunately, it did get tagged in the driver's side, and I don't know who was driving it or in it. Hopefully, the car was parked. I mean, it could just be coincidence that there were gloves in it. Could have been something from the junkyard, but... I mean, whenever you're, like, 13 years old in the junkyard, that one kind of sticks with you a little bit, you know. So, always be careful driving out there. Yeah, always be careful. Speaking of being careful, there's some moments in my life where I'm not being careful. Um, which, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I'll have something figured out with my other channel, just called Twisted Rods. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, me and a coworker of mine... Um, we are mechanics in real life. Uh, we work on cars, well, not like these, but basically we work on cars every single day. Well, we have a bit of a side hobby that we've started. Uh, he's actually acquired a couple cars, and we want to go out and see if we can get them running, sitting in the dirt, and then drive them home. A couple of them have been sitting from 8 to 10, even 20 years um, if any of you are unfamiliar with the term revival, that's what it means. It's basically kind of like a barn find, which there is a barn find out there too. We're recording everything we do, and I'm putting it on YouTube under my channel called Twisted Rods. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll, I'll have a link to the channel down in the description below. Go ahead and drop a, a subscribe to that channel, and if I have any videos out, watch them and give them a like. It'll help me out a lot, and it'll help us do more with that channel in the future. Because I do want to do more with that in the future. That's actually what... I really want to do is that like that's all I want to do you know I just want to have fun in real life like I just I just want to do crazy stuff like the stuff I do in this game I want to do in real life I want to put a big motor in a little car and which uh, with one of the cars that are out there we're actually kind of maybe pondering the idea of uh, putting a Ford Crown Vic engine in a Ford Pinto which I think would just be pretty damn amazing if you ask me but anywho's um, yeah, all that will be down in the description below. I think we are almost ready to go here. I am going to go ahead and paint this car. Um, I'll just go ahead and use the paint booth. Wait, will it drive? Yeah, it will drive. So, I'm going to go ahead and limp it over there. Ah, maiden voyage-ish. Wait for the glow plugs to turn off. There we go. Ah. Oh, that moves so much better. Oh, yeah. Now, if this thing was all-wheel drive or had all-wheel drive capabilities, oh, man, this thing would be a screamer. This thing would definitely give Cookie Monster a run for its money, which I need to dig that thing out do some races with that thing. Uh, for those of you who are new and don't know what Cookie Monster is, it's an all-wheel drive turbo inline-six NIV that I built with a carbon fiber body kit on it. Definitely some awesome stuff. That's white paint. That's exactly what I need. Okay, so drop, drop that one in there. Am I not doing this right? Don't tell me this crap's broken again. I literally just used this on my Impala. Can I... Okay, why can't I install you? Is there... Am I missing the hitbox here or something? Or like, what's uh, what's the deal? Here. 
We're going to do it this way. Paint car, perfectly white. Thank you. Wow, look at all that. Man, look at all the time I just saved. Wow, God, yeah, that... It's actually really upsetting that uh, I couldn't just do that, because I love... I love painting. It's something I really want to do in real life. Alright. Okay, so we're back in the shop from the paint job, which took like a grand total of like five seconds to do. So now I need to put stickers on it, which, ah, here's the sticker box. Alright, um, let's see here, change decals. Nope, that's size, is it the arrow, ah. I think it's the arrow key, I bet it's the arrow keys. Ah, here we go. Well, this is slightly disappointing because the uh, decal is slightly canted, but the car is not. So I have a solution for that. And for those of you who have, may have never heard the phrase before, if you can't raise the bridge, lower the river, we're about to lower the river. If I can just find my tool that I'm looking for. Very specific. To, ah, here we go. Okay, so consider the river to be lowered. Um, perhaps I lowered the river a little too much. You know what? I think that's going to be good enough. Yep. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, now I need to do the other side. Which I may have to do the opposite effect on. Uh, tell you what, I need to. No, nope, that's all the way up. All right, I guess I got to do the front now, so I can get the other door. You know, I could have just probably taken the door off and done it, but oh well. All right, jack it up by the oil pan, like everyone suggests you do. Alright, now decal, you should go on there pretty straight now. And it's not quite perfectly straight, but it's as good as I'm ever going to get it. Bam. Okay. Perfect. Now, we're just missing two more things. You know, while I have the wheels off the ground, this would be a perfect opportunity. Oh, no. Okay, good. Tightened it just in time. Okay, so, well, we have some nice wheels here, but I want something a little bit more official for this. So, kindly donated by our local police department. We have a set of wheels here for our uh, ambulance. Yeah. Got brand new tires. It's even got, like, police-rated tread on it. I cannot believe it. Okay. Got this tire off here. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't get laggy on me now. You've been so good this whole episode. Okay. So. All right. Got that on there. Now I just need to do the backs. Okay, just need to do the back side. I kind of wish I did this when I was doing the whole decal thing, but come on, guys. I can't think of everything. Darn it, I'm out of coffee. Mm. Okay, up in the air there. Man, is there anything anyone would like to see me do on this channel? I know someone's has suggested they want to see me uh, do a Derby Impala 
written down on the list. Is there anything else anyone would, would want to see me do on this channel? There's so many things that one could do. And, you know, I can't honestly think of them all. But if there's something you guys want, I am more than happy to explore different things in this game. Heck, there's stuff that have been updated in this game that I hadn't even checked out yet. And if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I will happily check it out. You know what? I think I might do that. Next episode, I think I'm going to check out something new I've never checked out before. And it is something recent, which unfortunately you guys are going to have to wait to see it. Even though I'm on a filming spree, trying to get caught up here. Because I... Oh, oh god. No, no. No. No, get on her. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm trying to get caught up here. October has not been a kind month to me. And there's lots of cool stuff I want to do. But between a new puppy dog, filming real-life car shenanigans, work, and just taking care of stuff around the house, time is a little short for me. Oh, wow. That tire really... Really fills in that wheel well. Holy crap. Like, they look like balloons in there. That's fine. That's good. Right, do I need to put, like, lifted struts on this thing? <laughs> Goodness. Man, God. I didn't think those things were that big on the police car that I took them up. I mean, you know, I, I, I didn't think they were that big whenever the, the police department gave them to me. Um. <laughs> Alright, here. So, let's go ahead and just put these on there and... Pretend it fits just fine. I think we actually have 15 inch uh, rims now. But I think it's a mod. I don't think it's actually part of the game. But I kind of like not to use mods on certain builds. Just to kind of keep it. Because if anything. And see here's the thing I've always disliked about mods. If anything ever happens to them. Like a file gets corrupted. Or um let's say kind of like what happened with the firebird mod the guy isn't supporting it anymore he completely took everything off of discord isn't doing nothing with it anymore so basically what we have if we even have it is all we're gonna have and that kind of sucks wow would you just look at it way i said that last episode um so now time for the icing on the cake found this in the junkyard oh no nope, get on her bam now I have me an ambulance. That is awesome. We even got room in the back to stuff somebody in here. That is great. You know what? I might raise up the suspension on this thing real quick. Yep. You know what? Why not? Just to have a little bit of fun. Um, let's see. Lifted suspension. All right. Um, ah, here we go. So I have to use this. I think it was the original, like, backpack mod. You couldn't actually uh, put springs put springs in it. Is that an actual thing, or do I just... It, oh, spring L... R L L L O means lifted. Okay. Never mind. Because uh, as a tech in real life, you have, like, front left, right rear. So it kind of... I thought it meant, like rear left or something like that and wow that did like almost nothing f f r okay uh, all right i probably should be doing this on a jack but you know I me mean? i like living life on the edge oh i was talking about like doing stupid stuff and how you guys shouldn't do stupid stuff well basically me and my buddy in real life we're Oh no, I bought lowering springs. Crap. Uh, hi. Not L. I thought L meant lifted. Okay, let's just... Crap. Yeah, see what I see what I did there? Um, I was like, why, why is this thing dragging the ground? It, it looks worse. Okay. Alright, how about we try that again? Well, now I have some nice lowering springs. You know, perhaps we can stick them on that car and make a nice low rider out of it or something. Uh, wait, is that front spring? Yep, rear. All right, now this thing should go up to the moon. Oh, come on. Now I can't... It sinks it so low, I can't even get under it to put the spring back in it. Ah, there we go. Now that looks much better. And you know what? It actually doesn't look, like, all that bad. Okay, so... Um, F... Rear high. There we go. 
Come on, where's the... Where's the beef? Come on, where... Bingo. Okay, yeah, that looks so much better. Well, it looks like I have lowering springs in the front, but no, it's just... Those tires are just that huge on this thing. It's hilarious. No, wait, those are the lowering springs. Okay. Now... Bingo, there we go. Oh, that's so much better. Now if this thing was just all-wheel drive, that would be just that much better. Be so much better. All right, we have a slight bit of suspension issues, but again, this car isn't even a race car of any kind. It's just going to look pretty sitting on the side of the racetrack. Okay. Oh, man, look at this thing. This thing looks absolutely great. So we're going to take it for a little drive around the block here real quick. Here, there's something I gotta share with you guys real quick. Uh, for any of you guys that are Beam NG Drive fans, I made a station wagon out of the uh, Legrand fit on the D1500 frame, and I gotta tell you, it is a blast to drive. It has no front clip on it. It kind of looks like a little rat rod dealio, and it's like I said, it's it's a wonderful mess. I'm gonna make a video on it here shortly, so you guys will see that here soon. Ah, time. Those are shingles. All right. Oh, come on, guys. Look at this thing. This thing looks great, doesn't it? Okay. Now, I'm not worried about saving because I don't think I'll wreck it, and this thing is fairly simple to make, so... All right. Let's see if there's any free crap up in the woods. Because this thing has to be able to go off-roading since it's like a medical vehicle. Oh, you can hear that turbo blow-off valve. Now there's my stack of cars out here. I guess nothing new is going to spawn here because I have these stacked up here. I need to figure out something to do with these. Is that... Whoa, lag. It doesn't like me looking at these. I guess that's a Bart and a Chad. I have something cool I'm going to do with the Chad and my other saves, so stay tuned for that. That might be the next episode here. Yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be the next episode. Little car down there. Oh no, I got it dirty. Oh, there's a little path there. That's kind of cool. Oh no. Oh geez. Be careful. Hey, a police car. Check that out. I already stole me one of those, so... Man. Hey, I'm not the only one that's dirty. Oh. All right, I'm going to head back to the shop. Oh, the dirt on the wheels looks cool. Oh, man, this is so sketchy driving on keyboard. I don't know if those pylons are real or not, and what I mean by that is I don't know if I can hit it, and I don't want to find out the hard way if I can hit it. Oh, man, getting really laggy right here. This is why I don't really drive much in this game. I mean, it's not like I'm scared to, it's just, you put all your hard work into a car, and building a car in this game takes a while, and it's not like my, uh, car mechanic simulator where you basically don't get punished at all, you just build a car and well, there's really nothing else you can do with it. In this game, you can crash a car and rebuild it many, many times over. Now, I have actually destroyed a car so bad none of the suspension would go back right in this game, so, I don't know, there is, you can push a car too far to where it won't go back together right, so... All right, guys, I think that is a wrap. I'm going to basically take this thing out to where it belongs and where it's going to stay for now until I'm ready for it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have proposed the idea of driving a car for 24 hours in this game. And there are, and, excuse me, there are people that have tested something like this already. Can Basically, how far can you drive a car in this game is what they've been testing. But I want to test the same thing, but I kind of want to face it against time. How long will it take... For an engine to fail, for a transmission to go out. Oh, what's what the dog doing though? I hope that's not pee stain. Anyway, so this car is going to sit out the racetrack, and it's going to basically be a decoration piece while I just drive in circles and circles. But there's been an update. They changed the track here on this island, so it may happen there instead of the big racetrack because there's just too, way too many twists and turns. If I can just drive a car in a nice clean circle for 24 hours, that would be way more ideal for me. So. I think that's going to do it for this episode. 
Guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I love hearing back from you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Definitely check out my other channel. And if you guys really like my garage, go check out Funkle ADH channel. He has a really awesome role play series going on uh, with my garage. Uh, at one point, he was working for his uncle over on the main island, and he's kind of leveling his way up, you know, to getting his own shop. So if that interests you, I'll put a link up in the right corner. Go check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.